Hey, welcome back, folks. Mod Your Vape here. Another uh, video review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Chi Yu sent to me by angelsigs.com. A N G E L C I G S.com. Um, it retails on their website for $19.99. They have a uh, free shipping. And they do ship from a USA warehouse if the item that you are purchasing is in stock in their US warehouse. Um, other than that, you will have to wait for it to come from China, overseas. Um, I do not know who made this clone, but I do have to say the quality is one-to-one -one with the authentic Chiyu. The build quality here, the threads are just, I mean, the threads are amazing buttery smooth threads as you can see here 18650 mode here we'll go ahead and take it apart for you so you can see we will move this camera down and I'll be back All right, so now that we're down here we can go ahead and disassemble the Chi Yu here you have your 510 connection Sorry for the camera quality. The light is shining in through the window. On the back side, you have a double adjustable pin. One to adjust for battery rattle here. Out. And in. Then the other one is to adjust for your atomizer depth. How far your atomizer sits down on the top of the Chi Yu if you want a flush mount for your dripper or your tank or cartomizer. Actually, I don't think you can run a cartomizer unless it has a 510. It only accepts 510 connections, no Ego connections here unless you use an adapter. Go ahead and show you the firing button. Now, I'd have to say this is the Chi use cream of the crop here is this firing button. I mean, it's just a simple little throw there. I mean, real small throw. You can adjust the throw by adjusting the pin here. They are silver plated contacts. Um, I haven't taken the button apart fully to check it out and see how it's put together. But here is the locking ring. As you can see, the button is locked. It is reverse thread. Kind of new to me since I've been using my Nemesis. But let's go ahead and put it back together with a Sony VTC4 here. Fully charged. Button goes to the smaller tube with no logo on it. As you can see here, top tube has the logo. Come on camera, there we go. Some Chinese writing. I've tried to Google it to see what it stands for. Nothing comes up. I did find out that Chi Yu is a Chinese war deity. Some kind of Chinese god thing there. But um, we'll go ahead and assemble it. And I'll show you how she vapes in 18650 mode here. See if you can hear that. There's a little battery rattle there. So you go ahead and remove this 510 connection and unthread your pin out just a little. Thread that back and no battery rattle. Now we will get the Nimbus clone here, drilled out. Go ahead and thread it down on the device. Go ahead and juice it up. We are rocking that boosted. Shout out to my man Corey Vigil. Awesome juice here. Go ahead and saturate it real good. I'm running a 0.23 ohm nano dragon coil here. 
fully charged battery. Chi Yu, angelsigs.com. We'll go ahead and give her a two. That 0.23 ohm coil does dry out the cotton pretty quick. So we will go ahead and give it one more juice in 18650 mode. As you can see, it does make some big clouds. I haven't tested the voltage drop on it. I'm pretty sure there is a little voltage drop. My opinion is all mods have a voltage drop, no matter authentic, clone, homemade. Alright, so now that you've seen it in 18650 mode, we will go ahead and break it down into 18350 mode and put a Pro Tank 2 on top that is running at 1.3 ohms. And I'm just running a, don't even know what kind of battery this is, it is a ICR18350. These aren't made for sub ohm, so I don't recommend sub ohming on anything like this battery. If you're going to sub ohm, make sure you have a Sony VTC4. Some of the LGs and Panasonic batteries are pretty good, um, but we will go ahead and slap this battery in here. Positive side to the 510 connection. Put your fire and button on. We have no battery rattle there. I will grab the Pro Tank off the Vamo, put it on the Chi Yu in 18350 mode as you can see that is a very nice stealthy device there something you could stick in your pocket carry with you I mean you can see it fits down in the hand the only thing showing is the tank go ahead and unlock it and give her a fire So that is the main thing I do not like about the Chi Yu is the reverse threading on the fire button. If you tighten down too much, it gets stuck and then you're unscrewing your fire button. So if anybody has any pointers on how to tighten down your firing button so that when you use your locking ring, it doesn't unthread the button itself, please let me know in the comments. So 18350 mode, Pro Tank 2, 1.3 ohm. We'll go ahead and give her a couple toots. And there it is in 18350 mode. Boosted is also in the Pro Tank 2 there. Go ahead and bring the camera back up and wrap this review up. All right, well, my thoughts of the Chi Yu from angelsigs.com is awesome. I mean, I have never held an authentic Chi Yu in my hands, but this thing is, the, the build quality is amazing. Um, if you're looking for a Chi Yu, I recommend going over to angelsigs.com free shipping took about four to five days I think to get to me um, came in a nice bubble wrap package but uh, the Chi Yu from Angel Sigs thanks guys just want to give a quick shout out to my man Corey Vigil boosted e-juice it's what I run in all my drippers all my tanks head over to boosted ejuice.com it's b o o s t e d and then e j u i c e.com this juice comes in 18 12 and 6 milligram um, 30 milliliters for $25 shipped um, 60 milliliters i think it is $40 shipped Head over and check them out.